It's 12 and a half minutes now past 6 o'clock. Well, here's a little known fact. Did you know it's National Geography Awareness Week? So celebrate accordingly. And today is GIS Day, and GIS stands for Geographic Information System. So what does that mean to you? Well, today, Service New Brunswick is launching a site that will mean more information is available to you online. The site is called GONB Map Viewer, and Bernie Connors knows all about it. He's the manager of Spatial Data Infrastructure, and he's with me in studio. Good morning, Mr. Connors. Good morning, Hans. So what is a manager of Spatial Data Infrastructure? <laughs> well, I'm helping to... Uh... Uh, organize all of the geographic information or map data that the uh, province has. Uh, many departments across government are collecting and managing map data, so we're trying to make it easier for those departments to collaborate and share their map data uh, between each other and uh, between the government and the public and with uh, other level of levels of government as well. So how many how many how many maps would you be dealing with in, a, in an instance like this for the uh, province? Well, just gigabytes and gigabytes. And you, you try to kind of meld them all together to, to make one... Uh, yes, one... exactly. You know, uh, we, we have standards uh, for the mapping, so, you know, everybody's working on the same map projection and the same map datum, so that when uh, Department of Transportation and Department of uh, Natural Resources create a map and you want to merge them together, everything lines up the way it's supposed to. So it's like a master map of the province almost. Uh, yes, you could say that. <laughs> Well, so tell me about GONB Map Viewer. Is this an opportunity to actually see uh, this map of the province? Absolutely. Uh, it's uh, just a website. It's you know, it's it's uh, nothing uh, uh, complicated. So all you need is a, a web browser uh, and uh, an internet connection, preferably a high-speed internet connection. And uh, one other thing is the Adobe Flash plugin, which is on almost everybody's web browser now, anyway. So you just go to the web address, which is www.snb.ca slash gonb, and you will have a link to our map viewer there. And basically, uh, as soon as you uh, open up the map viewer, you have a view of the province, and you have controls that allow you to zoom in or zoom out, and you can turn different layers on, and there's different uh, tools for uh, searching the, uh, the maps and uh, viewing uh, having different views of the map data. So what would someone like me uh, uh, be able to do with, with this website? Well, you can, uh, well, most people, the first thing they want to do is uh, have a look at their own property, have their own home or their summer property or the, the place where they go fishing or where they go hunting or, uh, you know, the, uh, the campground they stayed at last year. So you can uh, zoom all over uh, New Brunswick. Uh, you can view both uh, topographic maps and uh, aerial photos, and the aerial photos seem to be quite popular. Uh, we have complete air photo coverage for the entire province, and uh, that's uh, one meter resolution air photo, so that means the, the smallest thing you can see on the ground is one meter. Uh, in the Fredericton area, we were lucky enough to get uh, some air photo data from the city of Fredericton. We actually have some 15 centimeter resolution data really? in Fredericton. So you can, you can almost uh, you know tell a Honda Civic from a, from a Toyota Prius uh, <laughs> in that imagery. Almost, it's not quite that good, but it, it's 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 uh, very good. So you can see all the imagery. You can uh, measure distances on the map. Like for example, did you know it's I measured it yesterday. It's 355 meters from the front door of the CBC building here to the uh, nearest Tim Hortons down the street. <laughs> it seems longer. No, it's only 355 <laughs> meters. Uh, so, uh, in terms of in terms of uh, what else uh, people can can access from this information, can, uh, property assessment information as well. Yes, that's correct. Uh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is we do have all of the property maps for the province. So that's the the boundary lines for all. 527,000 parcels of land in the province and linked to each one we have about 17 pieces of information and uh, so there's the uh, PID number which is an index number that's assigned to every property your uh, tax account your property account number is uh, linked to that as well and we have the assessed value uh, if it's been sold recently we would have the sale date and the sale price uh, and the address of the property and a few other details about the property as well but none of it's personally identifiable information because we're providing anonymous access to this information we're only providing data that is publicly available elsewhere through the government how long did it take to compile all this information well uh, we uh, we were very lucky when we started this 
project because the province already had very rich data sets. For example, we've had complete property mapping for the province uh, since, the, uh, since the 80s. Um, and uh, we also had uh, a complete set of digital topographic maps that were compiled in the 80s as well. There has been some updating to those maps in the, uh, in the 90s. We had uh, complete uh, air photo coverage for the province already. So uh, it was really just a matter of bringing all the data together, putting some nice uh, cartography, you know, choosing the right colors and the, and the right line widths and all that stuff, and, and then building the tool, uh, the GONB Map Viewer tool that uh, you can uh, load into your web browser. And so I guess uh, the, the difference now is that this, all of this was available before, but access to it now is much easier exactly. for the public. Exactly. That's, that's the, uh, the big thing that we've done with the, uh, with the map viewer is made it uh, very simple for uh, the uh, public to get access to this data. We've had this data available for download from a service New Brunswick website for several years. But the uh, the format of the data is it's you know it's not a word document it's not a PDF file you download it uh, most people don't know what to do with the data once they have it and most likely they don't have any uh, software on their computer to be able to view and access the data but with the GONB map viewer all they have to do is go to that web address and you can very easily view all the maps and and they all line up and all the data is right there. Mr. Connors, thanks so much for coming in and telling us about it. You're very welcome. Bernie Connors is the manager of Spatial Data Infrastructure for Service New Brunswick. And again, if you would like to see this information that he has talked about, find it at www.snb.ca slash gonb.